we've waited a long time for this, the arrival of the all new, second generation Mazda CX-9. The original CX-9 was released in 2007 and by now has fallen behind its seven-seater competitors. So this new car arrives prepared with a brand new engine and just about every bit of safety and efficiency technology that Mazda can make. So let's see how good it is. Mazda knows there are customers out there who have been waiting for this car to arrive. And to cut to the chase, they won't be disappointed. The new car is cheaper, lighter, more efficient and more refined and has a wider range of models to choose from. The big standout is the new engine that's standard across the whole range. It's a 2.5 litre, four cylinder, turbocharged petrol engine, much smaller than the old 3.7 litre V6 and that makes it way better on fuel. Mazda rates it at 8.4 litres per 100 kilometres, a long way down on the 11 litres per 100 kilometres of the old car. Mazda's people also say the petrol engine has diesel-like performance, and we can see what they mean. It makes 170 kilowatts and 420 newton meters, so there's lots of pulling power from down low in the rev range, making it a cinch to cruise around town in without needing to really sink your foot into the carpet. Mazda sent engineers from Japan to study the way Australian families use their CX-9s. Information from those visits has made the new car better. The third row is extremely easy to raise and lower, even with one hand, and useful things like bag hooks, cup holders and storage compartments are spread around the interior, making it genuinely practical. The cabin is sophisticated and quiet, and there's so much gear inside that it may steal buyers of more upmarket SUVs. Safety kit includes six airbags, blind spot monitoring, radar cruise control, collision avoidance warnings, auto braking and fatigue alert. Leg and headroom in the second and third rows is above par, and visibility from the very back is better than most, which is sure to keep the kids happy. There's a usable amount of boot space even with all the seats in use, then fold down the third and second rows and you could just about move house in one trip. The CX-9 now comes in four different model grades, each available in front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive for an extra $4,000. The choices are Sport, Touring, GT or Azami. Stepping Up adds more deluxe features like LED headlights, a head-up display and a Bose sound system. The base model gets cloth trim and a small display, whereas all the others get leather and a proper 8-inch screen. We'd buy the CX-9 Touring. It sits in a sweet spot for the range, representing good value without missing out on any of the must-have luxury and safety extras. Mazda itself expects the Touring model will be its best seller in the long run. The new Mazda CX-9 really moves the game forward from the old car and sits at the pointy end of its segment. Mazda has built a classy and effective family hauler that will be loved by parents and kids alike.